going to be now looking at weak entity in our notes. So we have a figure. We're going to look at this. This is just some generic figure that we're going to be looking at for this problem. It does not have any key attributes of its own. That's important. And we are going to represent it with a rectangle inside of a rectangle. It has two participating constraints as well. It uses partial key. And partial key is unique identifier of a weak entity and it can be used to distinguish from other weak entities related to the same owner entity. So basically we are going to have some owner entity and then we're going to have a weak entity connected to it. So to the right we see that we have our owner right here. It's an employee. They have these attributes like a SSN This should be underlined because it's a key. They have a salary, a name, first name, middle name, last name. And then from here we go to our dependent of. And really, we are going from left to right because without this employee, we wouldn't have a dependent. So for all of our dependents, for n many dependents, they go to our employee. So the dependents are dependent of the employee. For our dependents, we have the birth date, and then we have a name for it. Now, we have to have a key for this, right? even though it's a weak entity because the reason why it's a weak entity is because it relies on our employee there's this relationship here only when we identify the owner do we use the double to their relationship so a regular relationship is just a diamond and then the double is only when we identify the owner is when we have our double right here we double this because this entity depends on how many owners we have so we can have one or more than one, but we can only have dependents of n many, but they only depend on our employee. So n many dependents depending on one employee here. Again, this is our weak entity. With our weak entity, we know we have to have a partial key. So the partial key is going to be the name of this person. We have like Joe or Mike here. Total participation, since weak entity has no key of its own, Without the owner, there is no dependent. So that means we have to have these two lines here because remember, total participation is represented with two lines. And we've gone over this previously where we have a total participation, which is existence dependency. Any employee must work for one department. And so our dependents must be dependents of our employee. That's where that comes from. It can be like, 1 to n, or how we would have it here it would be like n to 1, depending on how you look at it. We could have 1 to 1 as well. Others would be less common because typically we wouldn't have so many employees. We wouldn't have many employees and just one dependent. Or we wouldn't have many dependents for many employees. So this is, would be more common. And that is going to be it for our exploration of weak entities. Next, we are going to take a look at attributes of relationship types.